So I thought, well, somebody's, somebody's trying to tell me something. I'm just bloody old. <laughs> but it was odd. I had all that love. So I hope to goodness I can uh, get a part of it a bit more cheerful. You have a few good jokes in touch with you. have a good talk about um, pushy blades. You've got to be an admirer of his legs from your dead men. So I think you've got a few good jokes. Yes, I can't remember that at all. I'm not going to tell you, right. But I think um, you should go back to the very beginning. And, um, was it acting you wanted to do as a child? Or did you have yes, role? I started as an amateur when I was 14. And it's a long time ago. <coughs> well, if I told them to be fine. And uh, yes, I was always a uh, stage drunk and I had a disastrous schooling because I never read. And uh, teachers were in despair. And all I did really was, like most women actors, I uh, mimicked the teachers and pulled funny faces, really. And did funny voices, funny enough, which were, you know, 50 years later I was doing the new bar and mm -hmm. So I uh, made a living at it, finally. But it was disastrous. I, I left school at 16 anyway and became a, a junior clerk, you know, ready to do the fire. So it wasn't, uh, you know, a very auspicious start. And then I got called up in national service in those far off days in the RAF. I didn't get to when you're an aeroplane, but I became a clerk for another two years in Northwood Middlesex, where we did, years and years and years later, we filmed the Woodlife, which is very odd, only about four or five hundred yards from Northwood Coastal Command, RAF, so it was interesting, it came full circle. But then there was nothing uh, at all exciting in my life at all. And we were quite a poor family. But I, we had an illustrious cousin, my father's cousin was Ted Thomas. And he was uh, very, very encouraging. And Terry, of course, had an extraordinary thinking. I don't know if you remember, it's quite extraordinary. And uh, he, he came to, uh, I, I got finally after a lot of revenue companies and fighting my calling and, you know, trying to get myself liked and popular. I got into a, a very bad West End light comedy play. And uh, Terry, very kindly with my mum and dad, came to see the first night. And we were, my father and mother were concerned because we were very broke and we thought, you know, if Richard can make a name, so we did not quite so broke. And uh, so we were hoping that the play would be successful. It was not good. And uh, in the interval, Kurt uh, came down, and my father turned to Terry and he said, uh, Terry, uh, how long do you think this will run? And there was a pause, and Terry said, Oh, the time now. And he was extraordinary. I mean, he was a, a marvelous actor, but you know, he was also a stand up. Come up with a wonderful voice and he had seen But he was, uh, he never dropped that with his feet because we came from the same background. We were middle class people. He was from Barnet, I was from Rain's Farm, the Arimal. Uh, but he suddenly began to be much of a in a sort of Pinky Woodhouse, Bertie Worcester type. And so he never, when he ran up once or twice a year and said, How are you doing and all that, it was always, Hey, Carlo, hi. And I never ever dropped the accent. It was quite strong. And I think when your dialect and his dialect is the amazing double act. They <laughs> really understand the word I would not say. Ah, ah, hi. But that's my contact with Terry and his mum. And did you meet your wife is also an artist? Did you meet your wife? And uh, yeah. performing together? Yes, we went to uh, I thought I went to a drama school. And uh, after two years, I got a scholarship to Liverpool Playhouse, which is a lovely little theatre. Some of you probably been there or know about it. <coughs> a gorgeous um, Victorian theatre. And uh, I met my wife. She was uh, acting and stage managing there. And uh, we were married within five or six months. Poor soul. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been together now for 52 years, basically, now. But that's where the, you know, Nothing to do with me, she's just a, a, a marvellous girl. <laughs> no, no. Good sort of. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
He was in one of the earliest prison houses. What's his name? Everybody knows, but the original doctor was William Hartman. William Hartman. William Hartman. William Hartman, that's right. Yes, she was with him. And he was quite a, a grouchy old guy, apparently. And uh, it was quite difficult to make contact with. Uh, but I think he probably felt, you know, in those days, it was an incredible 